Hello chaps and welcome to my build update number two for the Academy 148 scale Mirage 3C. This is my first entry into the IDF Israeli Defense Forces group build being hosted by Mr. Steve Mottram. Um, this one's going to be done in the bare metal finish as shown in that photograph. I've also bought an Eddard weekend edition that's going to be built in the desert camo scheme so I'll have two versions entered into this body build. So in this update we're going to cover painting, decaling, weathering and final assembly. So first I painted the model using a, a Vallejo Metal Colors Chrome. That's the underside. And then the kit doesn't come with the stripe decals that go on the upper wings, the red stripes. So using a fine permanent marker sharper I uh, drew those on. I then highlighted some of the panels with different tones of metal work, give it some tonal variation. Use some steel, aluminum, chrome, gold. And then next I painted the fin flashes. I used the RLM 65L blow and then outlined them with the black edging. The exhaust was touched up, painted a little bit on the inside there. And then the deep, the peripheral parts, missiles and drop tanks were painted, followed by the undercarriage and wheels. Everything was then sealed with a uh, metal varnish, gloss, brilliant gloss. That was left to dry for a couple of days, took a while to dry. And there it is, all varnished up, nice and shiny. And when that's set, everything was ready for decals. So there we are, got everything prepared to start applying decals. That's the port side decals you can see there. Starboard side decals. That's the uh, port side rear end, showing a close up of the rudder uh, vertical stabilizer. That's the starboard side. And lastly, the underside, just the four decals there, the stars and the air brake decals. Those decals were then uh, clear coated with semi gloss to seal them. And then when that was dry, I mixed a, went on to weathering, mixed a oil wash using black oil paint mixed with odorless mineral spirits and then applied that to all the panel lines as a pin wash and applied it to the peripheral parts as well. I let it dry for about an hour, rubbed off the excess and then you can see in the next photographs the panel lines are highlighted. There's a little bit of streaking here and there. And they're the peripheral parts with the excess removed. After that was dried, I then gave everything its f final semi-gloss clear coat. Laid everything out on the table. That's all completed now. All it needs now is uh, some streaks with uh, acrylic washes. That's the underside. Nice sort of satin semi-gloss finish. So I removed the temporarily located wheel bays, removed the masking from the windshield and the canopy, then using a brown oak and black acrylic detail wash, I applied some streaks there onto the upper side of the wings, and then onto the underside, make it look like some oil, grease stains, fuel, etc. That's the front wheel bay, a bit of streak in there. And on the uh, rudder there, on the vertical stabilizer. A little bit on the front, down the side of the fuselage. And then some round the filler caps, like leaking fuel stains. And after that, I fitted the undercarriage legs, glued in the wheels and the wheel bay doors. 
and then glued in the wheel bay doors on the front wheel there. Now it's followed by gluing in the drop tanks and the three missiles. And then I use in the Eddard kit, I took the ladder parts out of there because this kit doesn't come with a ladder. I assembled those Eddard parts. And then put that little antenna onto the underside of the port side fuselage. That was followed by gluing in the uh, spike on the front end, the nose end. I then scratch built a little actuator on the inside of the canopy, primed it with Steinel Res Black Primer, as well as priming the ladder assembly. I then glued the canopy in place, painted the spike at the front. There's looking inside the canopy, you can see I've painted the actuator silver. I then painted the ladder assembly with uh, aluminum, let it dry, then sealed it in with semi-gloss varnish. I let that dry. When it was dry, I then sprayed some air spray on there so I could do the chipping effect. Let that dry for a couple hours, then painted the ladder red using XF7 Tamiya. And then using some water on a brush, actu actuated the uh, uh, air spray, giving a chipping effect, and then cl clear coated it to seal it all in. Then using some wine bottle foil, painted it red, and then cut out some removed before flight tags. And they were stuck into places on the end of the uh, spike there, on the end of that little antenna, hanging off the front uh, wheel strut there. And then they were also stuck on the uh, missiles and drop tanks. So that's it for this update guys. Um, in build update number three, which will be the final one, I'm going to build a base that's going to house both this one and the second build that's going to be done in the camouflage colours. So until build update number three guys, thanks for watching, thanks for leaving comments, much appreciated. Talio, chocks away. <laughs>